What's going on Virgo? I hope you are doing super well. This is going to be a reading for March 8th to the 14th, 2022. And in this reading Virgo, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the upcoming week. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming for the upcoming week. And we're also going to close off this reading with some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides. So first things first, you guys are all definitely very welcome here Virgo in this space with me as we go through this reading. Uh, if you find this reading resonates with you, definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that, Virgo. But either way, let's go ahead and jump into your reading for March 8th to the uh, 8th to the 14th, I believe it is. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and jump in and see what wants to come through. Give me one moment and we'll get into it. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here for you. Five of Swords, Temperance, ooh, Knight of Swords. May be dealing with, ooh yeah, a difficult individual. <clears throat> let's go ahead and see. Ace of Pentacles wanted to pop out before as well tower oh lord okay all right let's go ahead and get into this uh virgo so from the looks of it just from the uh, from the outside in um it's a very very interesting energy let's start start off in your overall general energy for the week you have the five of swords the temperance call card and also uh the knight of swords um here so it's either that you may be dealing with someone who is a very difficult individual who's almost too pushy, right? The five of swords to the knight of swords is kind of like an all up in your face energy. It's either that you're dealing with a very uh, difficult individual or some of you may be balancing out some sort of aggression within yourself because in your overall general energy, the knight of swords to the five of swords, you may be very triggered this week or angry. Either that or someone is gonna be triggered around you. Maybe you're dealing with like a narcissist. I think, I think a lot of you potentially even are, especially with the temperance card you're meant to kind of balance this energy out um you know so we're gonna hit on that in a second right what's going on with that with that person that you're dealing with um you also have here and what you don't see coming the king of swords the nine of cups and also the empress card um so it's it's a kind of an interesting energy here for sure there could be a situation where like there's a third party trying to get in between you and someone else here, Virgo, because you have the King of Swords and the Empress as kind of like this power couple right here in what you don't see coming. And then you also have the Nine of Cups here. So you don't see coming like what's actually coming through here pretty strongly, Virgo, is it's almost like if you're in a relationship or a situationship, something happens that like it actually is it's bad for the relationship you're in with someone but then it actually brings you closer together because you go through something it's almost like you're dealing with a narcissist trying to like lie to like one of you or like some crazy like weird shit like that is kind of what i'm picking up on but it's almost like that like going into that shadow you're dealing with someone somehow brings you closer together with someone now for some of you this may not be um a like romantic relationship it may simply be the empress to the king of swords someone comes in and kind of acts as a counterbalance to this energy but i'm starting to feel like you're dealing with kind of like i don't know maybe like a crazy person a little bit um we're gonna have to get into it in a sec but we move down here to the advice from your spirit guides you have the seven of cups the ace of pentacles and also the tower card here virgo um so there's there's certainly a, a choice i think that you have to make here with the seven um, of cups here and the deeper question to ask yourself is like you know what could be the consequences of your potential choices whenever this card comes up is what i would say um you know there's options distractions decisions right all this type of energy with this card 
So you need to make sure that you're very vigilant with this King of Swords because you're dealing with something that's up in your face. You know, this week for you is not a hermit energy. It's not going within. It's all like you're dealing with a lot of conflict. There's a lot of sh swords here, right? There's a lot of swords. Um, so realize whenever there's a lot of swords, it, it has to do with the, the element of air, also the mind. So remember that thoughts create reality. And um, as you select your where you're going to move forward like always just keep your thoughts positive is what i would say but you may need to let something go the tower here i really think what's going on here virgo for a lot of you there's some sort of like tower in your life that may interfere with a relationship that you have but somehow the problem that's going to occur this week will bring you to like really closer with someone you actually care about so it's kind of like a cool reading that's coming through um now let's go ahead and move on to the clarification portion of this reading. We're also going to find out that Ace of Pentacles is like, uh, you know, in a second. But, you know, I think a lot of you are dealing with someone trying to pull you apart or like some sort of weird situation. Just here's how to deal with a narcissist, okay, with this Five of Swords. Like whoever this is for you, um, just remember like narcissists never construct a consistent, like realistic sense of self. Like... Um, we think of narcissists as like people like the word narcissist was like the person who looked at himself in a reflection and fell in love with himself So we associate narcissism with self-love We think people who are narcissists love themselves, but the truth is that they actually don't the reason I'm telling you this um, is because like You're dealing with like a hurt person um, Like narcissism is someone who just is gonna come in your life like cause problems all the time so you need to just step like detach yourself from this with the, the the temperance card and burn off this impurity very naturally um so i hope that makes sense i don't know why i'm going off on these tangents let's go ahead and clarify this finally why is the five of swords here for you virgo in um in this slot for your overall energy it is the first card so this may happen kind of soon maybe dealing with an immediate situation Last one. Why oh, is the Five of Swords here? Five of Swords is clarified by the Creator card. This is called. This is the King of Wands. So there could be a battle between two uh, two males here, King of Wands, and also the King of Swords here. And this could very well be you, the Empress here. Um, so someone tries, tries to corrupt something like I feel this is a, a very creative person like you know when whenever the five of swords comes up I think the the kind of saying that like that the meaning that I give it uh, there's a saying like what does it mean when people say all is fair in love and war is that true like because there's someone who is just coming at you guns blazing and like you may be very tempted to just like do something back at them because you're being protected potentially by a king of swords here so i don't know it's kind of a weird like this freaking reading is giving me anxiety eh, virgo i'm not gonna lie all right but i feel you i'm here to feel your pain but uh let's go ahead and move on to see why this knight of swords is here too <clears throat> Knight of Swords is clarified by the Existence card. This is kind of like the Magician card. Um, and you also have the Creator. So now you have the Magician and the Creator. Um, it's very interesting. I think there's someone here who you may have a very deep uh, like soul connection with who almost comes in, once again, as maybe a counterbalance. I just see like a lot of opposition, a lot of conflict between people in, in, this week somehow in your reality. But I think someone that you have a soul contract with or someone that you have a deep connection with almost comes in as like karma to like help you out with this or it brings you together with someone. Like like I keep saying, Virgo, it's kind of like a repeating message now. There's definitely like a lot of moving parts in this reading for sure. Um, let's go ahead and clarify why this Nine of Cups is here. This is the centerpiece to your reading, so it influences all the other cards. And this has to do with emotional satisfaction. So even though something like a lot of chaos is around you, it's almost like you're just letting it burn. 
and you may not even know where you're going but this had to happen for some reason if that makes sense before you can move forward uh but let's see two more why is this nine of cups here <clears throat> Okay, the five of, uh, <laughs> the nine of wands clarified by the five of um, wands. How fitting, you know, this is the classic, in traditional tarot, the five of wands is all about competition. So there's some sort of like conflict between individuals that you come out on the good side of this week. It's really weird to say. Um, readings don't usually typically like do this, but also there's something about being totally committed. So this card is called the totality card in this particular deck. So you're gonna almost like totally have a victory or like a total ending to something as well. This could have been like a feud that you've had with someone it comes to an end now. Um, there could also be some sort of financial gain in this for you. So if this is like a court case or something like that. Um, let's go ahead and move down here to, let's go ahead and clarify this tower, why not? Why is this tower card here for you Virgo in the advice from spirit? One more wise tower here. Okay, the tower is clarified by the four of wands. Now you got all this fire energy, this passion coming into this reading. Um, yeah, this is a conflict between people, right? The tower to the, the four of wands. You guys know what the four of wands is in traditional tarot. It's all about community uh, coming together with certain people. Um, you know, so this is a conflict between individuals. I feel like, I don't know why that spirit, that's like all spirit wants me to say, this is a major conflict that you, I really do feel are gonna come out on the positive side. Hope you enjoyed this reading here, Virgo. I'm gonna conclude it here. If you want more information on your situation that you're dealing with here, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You could find all the information on that in the description box underneath this uh, reading, but it's always an honor and a pleasure to work with you guys. I'd be really interested to see what's going on here with specific details for the one-on-one. -on -one but either way, I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you next week on your next reading.